Right, so the little guys are out today having a bit of a play this afternoon after work. Yeah, it's a bit warm, but we've got a nice breeze. And I tell you what, I am hanging out for this cool weather to finally turn around. We've got a few little snippets of it, but no like good solid cold days yet. Um, once we get there, I think the birds are going to really enjoy it. At the moment, they're kind of molting and whatnot, so they're not super excited about it. It's a real nice one, this one too, starting to shape up quite well. Uh, we'll see how a lot of these birds go. I, I'm not sure, like I was saying in the other videos, I'm going to go through and just, you know, case by case basis, whether we, these ones are tossed or they start hanging around till, you know, some of the, for next year. Like the ones with the green bands, they're the ones that are a bit younger or they, you know, they will be held back to race next year just because this, this group's pretty young. That one there, the blue bars, that's actually a split barless. So, you know, that's the only one I've bred this year and the only one I've bred in a couple years either. But well, we'll see how it goes. I'm not super impressed with it. And I think the barless, I'm, I'm kind of to the point where they might be on the chopping block maybe and just kind of stick with my um, tiger grizzles because they're just easy. And, uh, you know, it's hard enough as it is. Let's see if we can get some of these birds in. I've got some food here. Um, already a bunch of them are in there, which is cool. And I think my kangaroos are making an appearance too today. There they are down under the trees. Always hiding from the heat. It's really interesting because they actually come up here and eat. Um, and they come into my little green patch there. So I've still got some birds flying around actually. They just got spooked up. Which is good to see. So I might just wait a second. Looking sharp this one. Daughter of Storm uh, across to Apache. So really nice mix in this little hen here. Only one bred like that too. So hopefully we don't lose her and she makes it all the way through. But who knows? We'll have to wait and see. These little ones should be pretty eager to come in. I don't know how many um, we got out still, but these ones, are, they definitely want to eat. I do have um, the one that we was reported that got absolutely ripped apart by falcons at the cow farm, but there it is there, and um, it's finally made it over to this loft. Uh, just not loft flying at the moment, just you know, slowly introducing this one back into the flock, which is really good to see. Um, we'll get some food ready. I put a bit of oil and stuff on this one today too, just to mix it up a little bit. I don't do it every day. Um, I know, I've got you in here so you can eat as much as you want because you are still healing. So we'll, um, you're right. The other ones are getting pretty excited. They um, eat as much as they want once a day at the moment. I don't feed them in the morning because I leave way too early for work. But um, we'll get some food over here and I'll get the other ones in. All right, you're yes, getting a bit carried away. So I'll let these eat as much as they want now until they finish molting. Come on. Come on. So there's a lot of them on the roof and they can hear me, which is good. Come on. Come on. Come on, you got to get used to me standing here. Come on. Ah, oh, they were well behaved today, which is good. Come on. They all had their injections, PMV and Rody yesterday too. So, um, you know, they bounced back really quickly. I think some of the older ones are still looking a bit scruffy and whatnot, but it's pretty good. Little trap is sort of working out quite well. So I'm happy how this is working. Birds getting used to it. Um, won't be long until this race season starts. A couple more on the roof. Come up. Ah, they'll come in soon sure enough or they'll miss out. That's fine. So the only thing now is getting these guys up fine as much as possible. And then when we get to that point where we're going to start tossing, I'll just go case by case. Some of these will stay back and we'll keep them for the next season. We may toss them a little bit later in the year after the race season is done. Um, just to give them some education. That's all it is. Uh, ready for the season after but uh, these ones are taking their time so we'll go and have a look at something else I don't know what is going on in here but that is not your babies what are you doing in there feeding them this is really odd they are my potato babies please do not wreck up that oh my gosh what's going on there why is she in there feeding those babies 
Oh, I just cleaned out the tray. I'm going to give them a fresh roll of food. Each little set's got their own food anyway. That's really odd that that hen is in there feeding those babies. Where is the hen for those babies? Oh, she's up there. Hopefully she didn't get replaced. Tell you what, if, if those babies don't make it to Patea, I'm going to be devastated because it's been like, it's been a rough road, I tell you. I don't know what's going on around here with these pigeons. They're pretty crazy sometimes. Oh, now she's in there trying to take over that nest bowl. What are you doing? Get out of there. They're my other backup babies. Are you trying to ruin my chances here? I'm going to have to take you out of here in a minute if this is the case. Got one more chance. Or you're going out into the other section for a while. What are you looking for? What I might do actually. I've got an idea. All right, so I've got her a nest bowl. Let's see if that works. She normally sits up in here. She's not going to breed, but I do not want her causing trouble like that. See if I can coax her back over there. Come on, in your bowl. Come on, girl. Don't get in there and be trying to steal all my little babies. Is that going to keep you happy? It's a little bit warm today, so she's... Fretting. That is her nest bowl though, so I don't know what. She's very confused today. That's actually her bowl here, or her box. That's her cockbird too, so stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. We'll figure out what's going on here.